Check it out, folks. Thanksgiving right around the corner, and your boy got you guys covered, right? Listen, I'm finna show you how to make, and listen, I gotta say this, it's simple. We making deviled eggs. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, you can see it's not a whole lot of ingredients, but the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take care of the star, right? That's these eggs right here. Some of y'all gonna say, AB, you preach so much about using uh, hen eggs, how come I'm not doing it? It's just something about deviled eggs. I like to just use the white. Even though I think the hen eggs are so, so much flavorful and rich, Right, but we're gonna go with this, right? Put this on the top, we're gonna boil, and we're gonna start with that. So eggs are done. I say it took about 13 minutes, but I started my, my water gradually with my eggs in the inside, right? So it's getting ready to get loud. I'm gonna turn this on cool, and we're gonna stop that. You see that? We're just gonna put this down in the bottom. And now what I do is I just add the cool water to it. Now, do as I say, not as I do. Why? Because listen, I'm gonna be cutting towards my hand and this is a very, very sharp knife, right? So when we get it cut like that, I just take this. This is where we gonna make our filling and we pop, bloop, just like that. So first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna open up with my mail. This is a heaping tablespoon. I'm just gonna put this in there like that. Uh, that's enough. All right, so I take it and I just start mashing it up. Now, notice I got a bigger whisk. You know why? Because when I want to get in here or I want to shake it, I want it to come out. So I do it like this. For me, I don't know about y'all, but I always do sweet. You know what I mean? Uh, I see sometime in the comments when I make like uh, Creole deviled eggs. And excuse me, folks, let me flex my muscles. There we go. Thought I was going to have to get some help. Right? Let me go ahead and get myself another tablespoon. Right? And look at that right there. That gives you the texture. If you pay attention, let me bring this back around. Look, sweet salad cubes. This is what I put on all of my, my special sauces and everything on burgers, right? So you don't want to put a whole lot in there. Remember, you can't take nothing out and we don't have no more eggs to be adding to it. So that's one tablespoon. Now, talk to me folks, it's already yellow. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're gonna put a little mustard. Don't forget, mustard bites are different. A different way right i love mustard to be honest with you so just notice i put this in here it's probably like uh, that's probably like about a half a teaspoon or something like that right we just want to get a little bit of that flavor this is going to add a little color but this is going to add a little bit of a, a different uh sweetness to it right so we just boom 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 that's it right and then we go ahead and incorporate last thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with that salt and pepper all right so looking at it right now talk to me folks you know, I'm reading them comments. You see that right there? This is what we want to do, but guess what? I did do a little taste. I'm just going to add just a little bit more. Now check it out, folks. Remember we talked about the, or I showed you guys the zip quicker. This is my buddy right here. So using my spatula, don't forget, we got to have the right tools for the job, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just put this down here because we don't want it to stick to the bag, right? But I got my buddy here holding my, my gallon Ziploc bag, which I probably could have made this out of a, not a cork, but just a regular sandwich bag. That would have been big enough, you know? Cause we're not making a whole lot. And don't forget, if you want to double the recipe and many eggs you make, you know you're gonna have a feeling to do it. And you know you guys can go to my website. Let me just say this, my new website, which is uh, smoking and grilling with ab.com. And that's W-I-T-A-B.com, you know, for the full printable recipe and others. Now, with that being said, look, open this up. Gotta love this thing, right? I can't, I can't live without it. Okay, so look, this is how I do it. For the, where are all my bakers at? We all know how to do something as far as uh, like use a piping bag, right? This right here, I'm gonna cut it, but I don't want it to fall out. You guys can go ahead and, you know, like chill it a little bit, but that helps, right? So we'll just start here, just a little bit of pressure. And then notice how I just push it down like that. Real simple, this is a great way to bring your family and get them involved, right? You can have your kids in there and they can feel like they're doing something. But I promise you, when everybody eat them, and if you have a kid doing them, first thing they're going to tell everybody is like, look, I made the deviled eggs. You know what I mean? So look, just a great confidence, you know, and beginner cook. All right? But we're not done when we do this. You know? And then notice how big I cut it. You know what? Because in the past, I've cut it where it's, it's a little bit on the small side, right? So then when I use these big, large cuts, of, you know, for uh, my relish, what that does is get hung up in the bag, you start squeezing. Look, learn from your boy. I'm gonna tell you all the mistakes I done made throughout my cooking journey. 
you know what I mean, and make it easy for y'all. Okay, folks, now you remember we took the time to go ahead and cook that bacon. So now I don't have no type of way that I do this. I just break them in a, you know, like some type of large, I don't even know what the verbiage is. You know what, I got a knife right here. These are my kitchen, excuse me, I got some scissors. These are my kitchen scissors, you know what I mean? We just put it, do it like that. This will save a whole lot of time. We can get random shapes, you know what I mean? And uh, we good like that, right? So it's up to you how you want to put these in here. You know what I mean? I'm going to leave the decorations up to you, right? But I see some cool pieces I'm going to stick in here. And then, you know what? Whenever you save a little bacon, you know everybody going to run to the kitchen, you know, and get themselves some, right? So I'm going to take it. I'm going to look like this. And then this is what we do. You put them in here how you want to put them in here. And don't forget, I should have said something. We need to have some chives, folks. You know, chives always do it. Chives make everything magical and it brings that green to it, right? Take a look at it, folks. I just took some pictures and made them all a star. Don't forget, this is gonna be your side dish. And you know why I got this in my hand? I got to do my taste test, folks. Hey, you know what, better yet, I got my buddy right here, Miguel. Come on in here, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm yes, sir, yes, taste sir. Taste. Hey, get you one of these. Let me get one. Yeah, get or, yeah. Do your thing. I thought, I thought this was smoking. <laughs> <away. laughs> That's a right. Plate. That's right. Hey, so look, check it out. I won't steal it off. All right. Cheers, fam. Cheers, my brother. Mmm. Oh, oh. good. Yeah, they are. Bacon sets it off. Now check it out. If you guys want to know who this is? Listen, this is my buddy. You guys might know him from Instagram, TikTok. Got millions of followers. Listen, he goes by the name of He's Got Flavor. But today, <laughs> he's got flavor. <laughs> my man. These right here is fire, folks. Now, you saw my buddy Miguel, listen, from He's Got Flavor. You guys gotta go by and check him out. If you don't, you're gonna see me and him connected at the hip, stitched right down here. Listen, we finna do something epic. Now, with that being said, stay on the lookout. Now, don't forget, I got that full printable recipe. That's ingredients and instructions on my website, which is www.smokingandgrillingwithav. That's w-i-t-a-v.com. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what we finna do, folks? We finna take these, and we finna eat. I'm out. Peace.